We are following breaking news right now. An apartment fire on Victory Parkway sent people rushing out into the cold tonight. WLWT News 5's Ashley Kirkland is live on the scene for us where that fire happened. Ashley, was everyone able to make it out of that building safely? Yeah, Molly and Curtis, we are happy to report that everyone was able to get out safely. That fire started on a third floor unit here of Park Lane Apartments, and it spread to another apartment. Thankfully, there were no serious injuries, but dozens of people had to be rescued, and six people were taken to the hospital with smoke-related issues. Sunday night chaos as a fire forces several dozen people out of their homes and into the cold weather. When we first heard the fire alarm, there were other people on the floor who were banging on the doors telling, you know, everybody it's a fire. And one Michael Gaston and his wife live on the ninth floor. They rushed to get out, but it wasn't easy because she has trouble breathing. When we got out into the hallway, it was smoke. It was thicker at one end than at the other end. So we went down the, the end that had the lightest smoke. 80 firefighters arrived on the scene for the four alarm blaze, helping elderly people and those who were suffering from smoke inhalation escape. There were so many victims initially uh, when, upon arrival. By the time I got down to the fourth floor, smoke was so thick you couldn't see anything. The residents thankful for the working smoke alarms, but firefighters say sprinklers in the building could have helped the situation. Yeah, it's, a, it's an older building, and at the time that was uh, approved, and so uh, naturally sprinklers do a lot to, uh, for not only the safety of the people, but actually knocking down the fire. And firefighters are here still tonight working to find a cause of that fire. Make sure that all of the hot spots are put out and the Red Cross is assisting putting people in temporary housing. And I caught up with Mr. Gaston here a couple of minutes ago. He and his wife are in the laundry room right now. Some residents on the first and second floors are allowed back in. Others are not at this moment. Reporting live here in North Avondale, Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5.